Cervical vertebrae. The cervical vertebrae are the seven bones that make up the neck, numbered C1 to C7. The first two, C1, atlas, and C2, axis, are unique in structure and allow for head rotation and flex ion. The remaining five, C3 to C7, are more typical vertebrae. The first cervical vertebra, C1, is called the atlas. It has no body or spinous process. Instead, it's shaped like a ring with an anterior arch and a posterior arch. Its transverse processes are long and wide. The top articular surfaces connect with the occipital condyles of the skull, and the bottom surfaces connect with C2. The second cervical vertebra, C2, is called the axis. It's special because of a bony projection called the dens, or a dontoid process, which sticks up from the body. The dens joins with the inner aspect of the anterior arch of the atlas and is held in place by a transverse ligament. This setup lets your head turn from side to side. Cervical vertebrae C3 to C7. These vertebrae are considered typical cervical vertebrae, featuring a vertebral body, pedicles, laminae, spinous processes, and facet joints. Transverse foramen. Cervical vertebrae have features that make them different from thoracic and lumbar vertebrae. One main feature is that each transverse process has a hole called a transverse foramen. These openings allow the vertebral arteries and veins to pass through. This is true for all cervical vertebrae except C7, where the transverse foramina usually only carry small veins, not arteries. Bifid spinous process. Cervical vertebrae C3 to C6 have bifid spinous processes. C7 has a single, non bifid spinous process. Vertebra prominence. C7 has the longest spinous process among the cervical vertebrae. This prominent process is palpable at the base of the neck and is distinct from the bifid spinous processes of C2 to C6. This spinous process of C7 is also known as the vertebra prominence.